Hi, welcome back. In this week's video, we are going to start our lab 11. That is observing SHA generated hash value. So we'll be using SHA-256 right there. <clears throat> if you want to follow it along on your Kali Linux, you can um, follow these uh, instructions. We're gonna be using the built-in lab. <clears throat> And of course for this you have to go either download the file somewhere or just rename it an ISO and compare on your own. Of course your um, results will be different than the one here on this screen. Now I'm gonna go full screen here. So <clears throat> the instruction says right open the terminal so we're gonna write SHA-256 and the path is in downloads folder there is this file that's an ISO file we want to uh, calculate its hash and put it in downloads folder oh yeah make sure that uh, your case sensitive because uh, um, Linux is case sensitive. If I press enter, I did get a error and you get the error when it's unsuccessful. So basically I had to put some as well that I missed because of the border there. Okay, let's on. So no error means the command ran successfully. So now we're gonna use the diff diff command to check the difference. So <coughs> diff downloads slash real dot txt and compare it against in downloads and our new file that sha.txt and if I can make it bigger you can see like letter to letter compare it really quickly uh, it actually helps if they are on the same uh, like right underneath the other it's not happening here so <coughs> basically uh, they are identical so you can ask where did this file come from uh, they had already ran the command so for, just to test the theory let's say the first time we ran it as SHA-1 or second time now oh <clears throat> my bad I have to now what oh come on this one okay so now I can use the diff command with so I can compare mine two uh, files against each other So I have SHA-1 and I have SHA.txt. So for the diff command, oh, interesting. So maybe it's, <clears throat> let me dig uh, what's happening. All right, so my best guess at this point is I ran through uh, different commands. Uh, you can see SHA real one. Uh, if I compare it uh, against either way. Oh, I let me check my theory. Let me go one like do one more thing 
and in this one I'm gonna change it to SHA-1 and that should confirm my theory okay all right now I know what's happening <clears throat> so basically what I did is that I checked the with the L switch what I checked was the permission my first guess was maybe I don't have the permission but if you see this SHA-1 and SHA-2 uh, SHA and SHA-1 I have exactly the same permissions here so that's not the case the file is readable next thing I did I used the cat command to read the content of the file and if you can see this is exactly like this but to add at this line I noticed these two the same and when we were running the command uh, this one like here uh, SHA versus SHA1 SHA versus SHA1 you can see over here these two let me see maybe and one more time up there okay yeah right here <clears throat> and god so what's happening is remember Linux it gives you an error message if the command is not successful but once I ran that and it went to the next prompt meaning the files were identical so that confirms my theory hopefully you like this video if you have please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one